स्टूडेंट वी नो दैट इन मोनोहाइब्रिड क्रॉस वी विल कंसिडर ओनली वन सेट ऑफ कैरेक्टर्स दिस कैरेक्टर विल कम अप विथ टू ट्रेट्स वन विल बी डोमिनेंट एंड द अदर विल बी द रिसेसिव ट्रेट सो इन दिस क्रॉस वी आर कंसिडरिंग द हाइट कैरेक्टर सो मेंडल सिलेक्टेड टू पेरेंट प्लांट्स विच आर हैविंग होमोजाइगस एलिल्स सो वन ऑफ द पेरेंट इज homozygous tall that is capital t capital t and the another one is homozygous dwarf small t small t so after doing the punnett square all the f1 generation will show the heterozygous condition that is capital t and small t these are also known as the hybrid thus the genotype of all the f1 generation will be capital t and small t and the phenotype will be that is the outer appearance trait will be all tall now in the first generation that is in the f1 generation the dwarf character will be suppressed so for this reason the f2 generation has been created so f2 generation will be formed by doing the selfing between the f1 generation between the capital t and the small t so here after doing the punnett square we will find that one hetero one homozygous tall will be there two heterozygous hybrid will be there and one homozygous dwarf will be there so this will lead to the genotypic ratio of 1 is to 2 is to 1 1 for capital t capital t 2 for capital t small t and one for small t small t so after doing this cross mendel observed that the dwarf characters were present in the offspring now student the phenotypic ratio phenotype means the outer character so the capital t capital t this will be tall capital t small t will be also tall so all total we are getting three tall plants and one small t small t this will be show this will show the short character so the phenotypic ratio is 3 is to 1 so at the end of the f2 generation we will conclude that the recessive character can be shown only when they are present in homozygous condition now student what will happen if we consider two characters at a time during the cross suppose in the picture you can see that the two characters are the seed shape and the seed color so in one there is round that will be homozygous and yellow color of the seed is there so that is homozygous y and the another parent will be wrinkled seed with green color so these are the recessive character so that that is why we are using the lower case letters here so in the f1 generation student here what what we will get from each parent we will get one single allele okay so from the parent one we will get capital r and capital y from the parent two we will get small r and small y so this will combine together and all the offsprings in the f1 generation will show capital r small r capital y small y genotype and the phenotype character will be round yellow now we will again do the f2 generation so from the f2 generation we will get a combination of different characters as we know that in f2 generation all the recessive characters will be ex expressed so in f2 generation we will first find out the gametes this thing we have discussed in the class how to find out the gametes how to find out the possibilities of the gametes so here we can find that 16 different possibilities are formed in the f2 generation so nine specimen will show round yellow character three specimen will show wrinkled yellow character three specimen will show round green character and one specimen will show wrinkled green character 
so student by this the phenotypic ratio will be 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1 now student each and every trait or the characters they are the resultant of some gene these genes are present in two allelic forms the alleles may be dominant or may be uh, recessive or they may be present in heterozygous form okay so based on the alleles present the alleles will trigger the release of some proteins at last these proteins will help in the showcasing of the characters from the outside so this when these enzymes are produced in higher amounts so we can see the change either in the height either in the seed color okay and when the enzymes or the proteins are released in smaller amount then the characters will not be shown properly and hence the character will be suppressed okay so each and every character is the resultant of the gene and the alleles present in our chromosome